so much for arriving before sunset. Oh, I didn't realize we were this close. Any idea what that is they built the village around? The Fallen Ruin. I've heard some call it an airship. Though its flying days seem to be behind it. It's a shame, that. You truly think a dominance waiting for us in that village? My scout has never given me any reason to doubt him. Which is why I think we should hurry. Come on. This isn't the first time I've seen one of these. Perhaps I can use them as waymarks. Figures up ahead. But are they friends or foes? You! Not another step! Give them all you've got, boy! the next ones we meet. Let me know how it goes. No sign of the Royalists. Or anyone else for that matter. It's too bloody quiet. Even for this hour. What do we do now? First we look for my scout. You start here, I'll circle around the back. How do I let you know if I find him? Good question. Shout? Subtle. Imperial Army, and we've come to help. Do you know where your parents are? In... in the church. Then I'm going to find them, and make sure they're safe. Can you stay hidden here, until then? To the church, then.
This man's gonna die if we don't get into a healer. Enough of your barking, dog! About time. Stand back. <clears throat> Who the hell are you? Clive! Thought you weren't coming. You still alive, Gav? <laughs> Barely. Been doing what I can for the villagers, but... I thought you were joking. It's all right. He's with me. Is this everyone? No. There were others. A pair of royalists came for the bearers just before you arrived. Was a dominant among them? Maybe. It's not like he was holding a sign. Guess where he's going. Clive, after him. Companion, it's only a matter of time before we seize our quarry. Very good. And what of the others? The bearers have been taken to Kaer Novent. Some may still be worth keeping should the dominant elude us. All is in hand, my lady. They will not be spoiled. I give you my word. <laughs> Gentlemen, a toast! Will you join me? <laughs> My thanks. To our Lady of the Wind. And the King! <laughs> Ugh. Imperials drink this piss? Well, it would go some way to explain their breath. <laughs> <laughs> Lady Benedicta! Imperials! And instead of killing them, you lead the rat straight to us. Mercy! <laughs> Look what we have here, boys. An Imperial Bearer. Good. I was getting bored.
give them all you've got. Got some fight in you, even for a branded. <laughs> Clive. <laughs> Look us here to save the day. Is this how you recruit all of your charges? Don't recall you complaining, Benedicta. So, Sidolphus, remind me, why was it that you betrayed your kingdom? I asked you a question, Lord Commander. Why? Because I'd had enough of you and your king's antics. And yet here you are, stealing my branded. What are you plotting? As if I'd tell you. Lady Benedicta, we have secured the dominant. Oh, something is near. And she's gone. Did she say where she was going? No. Then we head back to Lost Wing. One of the villagers may have heard something. But we can't just... Which is why I sent Gav. 
The man has a nose for these things. Trust me. So, it wasn't about bearers at all. They were looking for a dominant. Yeah, that's right. I thought we were hiding the bastard. Like any of us would keep a monster like that under our roof. Oh, no offence. When no one talked, they started rounding up everyone with a brand. And then everyone without one and all. And locked you in the cellar, hoping sooner or later someone would break. You know, things might have been different if you'd accepted my invitation. Oh, don't remind us. We were all saying the same thing. Yeah. This is our home, innit? Yeah. Don't mean we won't out when we can, though. And that, I'll drink to. Oh, come hear the tale of Lord D on the board. Whose tamed worms a thousand and slain the tenfold. One hundred full legions the young dragoon led. And watched as a million foes turned tail and fled. His lance levels mountains, it spanned as the deep. The skies over storm breaks for everybody and shoot the Revenge won't bring him back. Thirteen years ago, I watched a dominant kill my brother right in front of me, and I did nothing. But now I can. I can kill the son of a bitch and bring peace to my brother's soul. After that. Whatever happens, happens. Fate. You're content to be its slave, then. His radiance would have us believe the Imperial host invincible. Yet here we find the Empire's cornerstone teetering on the backs of a handful of cowards and cutthroats. <laughs> While Bahamut may lead a hundred full legions, could it be that the young prince defends a house of cards ready to topple at the slightest breeze? Tell me something. Why do you not resist? Within you lies the power to slay gods. The phoenix perished in your flames. Yet you do not fight. You do not flee. You refuse your gift. Perhaps you are distracted. <sighs> My offer still stands. Join us and you will be treated with the respect one of our kind deserves. Lord Margrace, don't! I'll give you a moment to consider your options. Do be gentle with them. Clive. Mm -hmm. 
Wake up. Gav's back. Ken Ovend. One of the Empire's outlying strongholds. Though apparently not strong enough to keep out the Royalists. The captured bearers are inside. I'm sure of it. If Benedicta's orders are to stay in the shadows, she won't be traveling with many men. Meaning, she'll be keeping her prisoners together and close by. Including the Dominant. So, we find a way into the fortress and conjure a bit of chaos. Uh, what about me? Excellent question, Gav. You will wait outside the care and guide those I free to safety. And miss all the fun? Why can't he do that? Clive doesn't have your nose. He'd stumble off a cliff before he even found the men. Come on, Gav. You're the best man for the job. Well, when you put it that way. <sighs> Suppose I'd better scout ahead for any surprises. Don't you let him down. I won't. All right. Shall we? Not so fast. We wait until tomorrow. But he's right there. And if we leave now, we'll arrive just as the sun comes up. Maybe join the guards in breaking their fast. Come on, Clyde. They only just took the place. They'll be there a while yet. We've got one chance at this. You don't want to waste it, do you? No. He's the owner of the tavern, and our best hope of getting a decent night's nice kit. Quentin, my good man. It seems we'll be spending the night. I thought as much. Where do you find that one? Oh, him? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Quinton here is an old friend, one who is sympathetic to our cause. Sympathetic? And he knows about your little sanctuary. I would never have guessed so many people were bent on setting us free. When last I checked, the mere thought would only would trip to the gallows. I am well aware of the risks, as I am of the rewards. And what could be more rewarding than your very own dominant of fire? A dominant? Here? Now that I would like to see. <sighs> Meaning you haven't. No, but nothing passes unnoticed in Lost Wing. Take your brand, for example. People will see that at once. And I need hardly tell you how they will greet the inquiries of a bearer. You are afraid your words will fall on deaf ears. As they have ever since the moment you were marked. Happily, I can provide a solution to your dilemma. As a favor to Sid, that is. Take this. You will find it has the uncanny power to loosen tongues. May the mothers guide you. This might be Imperial land, but here in Lost Wing, it's his word that's law. But how? You don't need to worry about that just yet. Trust me, everyone in Lost Wing knows what that seal means, and what it means if they don't take note. Now we can sit here counting our blessings, or put them to good use and find that dominance. Your choice. Let's see if this thing really works. 
Tell me that scowl means you've got good news. So, a shady lad with a hood and his equally shady lass. Not much to go on, but... But... I've been thinking, if our friend is a dominance, why not just burn the royalists to a crisp? There's a reason he's holding back, and I reckon he has something to do with his partner. What makes you say that? One of the villagers I talked to said the two were separated. If the Waludas have her, our dominance like to think twice before starting any fires. Whoever he is, he's shown himself to have a level head. He's careful, cunning, and he doesn't want to be found. This could spell trouble. For us and the Royalists both. <sighs> Still, it'll be a whole lot worse if we set off after them with bleary eyes and empty bellies. There should be a pair of pallets waiting for us back at the inn. Shall we? Well, that took longer than expected. First time dismantling the barricade? It gets easier, don't worry. I won't. If we leave now, we'll arrive at the care when the shadows are at the deepest. Well, I should rather wait. No more waiting. The road's south, then. Unless... I know of another shortcut. You should be so lucky.
not to crack even when it isn't crawling with royalists. I don't care who else is in there. Much as I enjoy battering down the front door, I hazard this endeavor will require a bit more tact. There's an old sluice that empties under the bridge. It should see us through to the lower levels of the care. Sid. We both know why I'm here. But what is it that you want? Why would you risk your life for a handful of outcasts? If anyone ever learned what you've been doing with their property... They'd have my head in a box. But this isn't just about dominance and bearers, it's about all of us. What I want... ...is to build a place where it doesn't matter what you are... ...but who you are. But our world isn't ready for a place like that. So, until it is... I use the power I've been given to show people there is hope. This Benedicta. The best and worst decision I ever made. Don't underestimate her, Clive. A fight with her icon is not one you're likely to walk away from. Garuda. Warden of the Wind. Hey. Mm -hmm. Light for prayer, isn't it? Do I seem so desperate as to grovel at the feet of a false god? <laughs> I was waiting for you. Not for too long, I hope. All this for a midnight chat. Well, let's chat then. Where are the men and women you took from Lost Wing? You mean, where's the dominant? Well, we shall be requiring his services indefinitely. Come back to me, Sidolphus. I need you. Think of all the things we can create together. The world that we can build. You need me. <laughs> Your king needs me. I'm all for building a new world. Just not his. That bastard's dreams are as twisted as his promises are false. 
and I want no part of him. King Barnabas saved you, and this is how you speak of him. Have you no shred of loyalty? What? To a leader who'd use me? Like he uses you. You know nothing of me, Sidolphus. You're right. I don't know who you are anymore. Or what you want. I only know what you used to say. That you were tired of running. That you just wanted to be free. Free of it all. You weren't lying to me then, so what changed? Well, Sid. <laughs>
Sid, are you all right? Do I look all right? <coughs> Benedicta will be on her way to collect the dominant. If she hasn't already. You can't afford to let them leave. Remember, she has wings, you don't. What about you? Before or after I catch my breath. Sorry. Come on, Toggle. Signal! Yeah! 
Ugh. <sighs> 
I confess I expected more from the old man. And less from you. This is the second time you've bested my sisters. Men of your talents are rare indeed. Why cost your lot with such undesirables? If it is the hearth you long for, you will find more than enough warmth under my wings. You know exactly what I want. Hand over the Dominant, and I'll leave you in peace. You would dare to make demands of me. Know your place, little lamb. Fool is the shepherd who heats every bleat of the flock. And I will suffer yours no longer. <laughs> 